It's undeniable that everyone loved the great chemistry between Hye Yoon and Woo Sok in Lovely Runner. And as it turns out, there's more to be explored in season two. Although it may seem that at the end of the drama, everything wrapped up nicely, it may not be the case after all. In the final episode, we saw the two main characters, Im Sol and Ryu Sun Jae, getting their happy ending. And we even got a glimpse of their future wedding. Meanwhile, the main villain of the story, the taxi driver Kim Young Soo, passed away in an accident, so he's no longer in the picture. This this seems to suggest the story of Lovely Runner has concluded, but it turns out that some people missed a major detail that completely changes the whole narrative and could be explored next. In fact, there are a lot of potential storylines that we could see in a new season. First of all, Lovely Runner is based on the webtoon Tomorrow's Best, which also has a second book. So one possibility is that a new season could once again follow the story of the webtoon. In the second book, Sunjay slowly starts turning cold to Imsol after thinking that she lost all her memories. The story continues with the couple fighting over a lot of misunderstandings as they keep trying to help each other. According to another theory that has circulated online, the second season could focus on Kim Taesong, the bassist who had a huge crush on Im Sol. The new series could see him falling in love with Im Sol once again and feeling jealous of her relationship with Sun Jae. This story might become even more complicated as Taesong's ex-girlfriend Choi Ga Hyun could come back and be jealous of Im Sol instead. A new season that explores this plotline and the feelings of the these characters could be a good way to create an original story without making it too similar to the first season. Meanwhile, some fans might just prefer a simpler approach, and so the new series could be focused on the blossoming romance between Im Sol and Sun Jae. In the second season of Lovely Runner, we might see the couple face the challenges of balancing their love lives with their careers. With Sun Jae living the busy life of a popular idol and Im Sol trying to achieve her dreams as a film director, the relationship between the two might struggle? Will their busy lives make them drift apart from each other? Or will love overcome all challenges with the two finally getting together once again? A second season focused on this plotline might answer this question. However, another possibility is that we might see a new series with a much more convoluted storyline that involves time travel once again, much like the first season. And this time, the new story could revolve around Im Sol's grandmother, Jong Mal Ja. Over the course of Lovely Runner, this character has slowly gained the attention of viewers. At first, she seems like any nice old lady that acts a bit weird, and her behavior is explained in the series as dementia due to old age. But as the story goes on, many fans noticed how some details suggested that this character was hiding quite a few secrets, and as it turns out, her biggest secret hasn't been revealed in season one. Already in the first episode, Malja takes the magic watch that allows Im Sol to time travel, even before its powers are activated for the first time. In the ninth episode, she once again takes the watch when Im Sol needs its power the most. In addition to this, she always seems to know what her granddaughter is doing and is the only character that remembers that Im Sol is time traveling and that she was once paralyzed. Also in the first episode, she draws three red dots on her granddaughter's face in a way that reminds of the traditional makeup once used in Korean weddings. This seems to suggest that she already knows that Im Sol is going to get married and is preparing her for the occasion. Her apparent awareness of the powers of the magic watch and her constant portrayal of her granddaughter as a bride led many fans to create theories about the true identity of the character, with some suggesting that she might in fact be the mastermind behind all the time travels. The final episode of the drama proved that the theories on Malja were indeed correct, as she's seen throwing away the magic watch in the river in the same place where Im Sol time traveled for the first time. In the end, she even goes to Sun Jae to wish him a long and happy life with Im Sol. According to many fans, all of this proves that she was indeed the mastermind of the story, and that she has been aware of what was going on the entire time. But that's not all as a big hint suggests that Malja wasn't Im Sol's grandma, but Im Sol herself. This crazy theory suggests that Malja is actually Im Sol from another timeline, and there's a lot to back this up. According to some viewers, Malja could be an alternative version of the main character, who has grown old without getting a happy ending with Sun Jae, or without having the possibility to go back in time to save him. This might explain why she always seems to know everything, and how she remembers things that no one else remembers. The scene in which she wishes Sun Jae a happy life could be an even bigger hint towards this. In fact, the grandma seems to treat him in a very affectionate way, maybe because
because she's reminded of her past with him. What's more, the fact that he starts crying might suggest that he somehow knows or has recognized that the grandma is actually Im Sol from another timeline. In the second season, we might get a more complete explanation of the role of Malja, and maybe we could see her story and how she ended up helping the main characters get together in their timeline. In fact, the first season didn't really explain in detail how Malja knows everything, and this fact remains one of the few unanswered questions in the series. Another mystery that remained unsolved is how the time-traveling watch actually works. The watch has been thrown away by Malja, and its counter at the end reads zero, meaning that all the chances of time traveling have been used. However, how the device actually works and its origins still aren't entirely explained. A possible plot point of the second season might revolve around this, and the series could explain more about the story behind the watch and its magic powers. Even the wedding scene from the last episode has left viewers confused. We only saw a glimpse of a ceremony that happens at some point in the future, but we didn't see the actual wedding. As this scene only appears in their imagination, some fans have speculated that all the time travels might have given Im Sol and Sun Jae some powers to see into the future. This moment once again blurs the line between imagination and reality and between different timelines. For this reason, many fans have speculated that in a new series, we might get a much more definitive explanation of the time traveling abilities of the main characters and how future events have been impacted by what happens in the first season. These aren't the only unanswered questions from the drama. Tae Song is another character surrounded by mystery. In some scenes, it seems like he remembers some things from other timelines, and while the series was airing, many viewers speculated that he might be time-traveling too. However, the final episode didn't reveal anything about this, so fans are left wondering if there's any secret behind this character that we didn't get to see in the first season. While fans keep coming up with new possible storylines, the big question is what the cast and the crew think of season two. The show's writer, Lee Shaun shared her thoughts on this possibility, and it surprised us all. She said that she worked on this project for many years as the series suffered from many delays and expressed her affection for the characters of the drama, especially Im Sol and Sun Jae. However, she also shared that a second season isn't in the plans at the moment. She said, I'm not thinking about season two. Since I'm a writer who creates characters, Sun Jae and Im Sol are still alive in my heart, as are my previous works. But when it comes to the cast, we have no doubts about the possibility of them returning as all of them became very fond of their characters. Woo Sok even revealed that he cried while reading the script for the final episode as he was sad that he couldn't play the character again. Hye Yoon feels the same way about her own character and she said, I feel incredibly happy and grateful to have portrayed the character in Seoul. For this reason, it's safe to assume that if a second season ever happens, both leading actors would love to take their roles as Sun Jae and Im Seoul once again. Now, many fans are waiting for any news about a possible second season. Usually, broadcasters wait at least for a few weeks after the final episode of a series to evaluate its success and ratings before committing to a new season. But at this moment, there hasn't been any confirmation of a season two of Lovely Runner yet. We can just hope to hear the happy news soon.